This piggy bank is a fun little project that kids will enjoy and is easy to make. Start by gluing up stock at least 11 and a half tall, 7 wide, and a little more than 3 quarters thick. Flatten the first half of the panel on your CNC using a planing bit. Microjig CNC work holding kit allows you to effectively hold the part from the sides, letting you plane the top. The panel then gets flipped over so that the second face can be made flat, parallel, and cut to final thickness. If you don't have the ability to joint or plane larger panels, the CNC is a really good way to do this. The rotary cutting action of the bit means that it really doesn't matter which way the grain is going, you're going to get a good clean cut. The bank is made from two pieces that get pinned together, so we'll start by milling those holes first. The holes were drawn at 0.26 inches in diameter, so a quarter inch bit can clean it out without drilling straight down. And that just causes burning. Notice the head twirling tightly as it cleans out those holes. Milling the coin slot is the next step. The two halves of the bank are positioned so that this slot can be cut in both of them at the same time. It's simply just cutting a specially shaped pocket. Notice that with the deeper milling cutting inside the material, I've added the U-pads to hold the part down from the top. As always, we're working from the inside outward. So next we'll cut the rabbits where the plastic windows will rest. To save time, these are milled as thin oval pockets, leaving about an eighth or three sixteenths of an inch of material at the bottom. Now the actual opening for the window can be cut in both halves. This is done with a simple profile toolpath holding the part with a thin onion skin left behind. And no changing bits, we're using the same quarter inch all the way through the project. And finally, the halves can be cut from the blank. It's a standard profile toolpath cut to the outside of the lines. But note that I've used a lead in and lead out for this cut. These leave less tool marks behind, so I don't have to do as much sanding later. A completely separate program needs to be made to cut out the plastic windows. I'm actually using the same quarter inch bit here. It's a down shear bit with a slow spiral. The downward cutting pressure keeps the flexible plastic from lifting off the bed. Before assembly, the bank can be personalized either with a V carving or a laser engraving as I'm doing here. The edge guys from the CNC work holding kit provide a known starting point, so locating the engraving is very easy, whichever way you do it. Note as well that the part has been flipped over. We're engraving the outside of the piggy bank, not the inside. With all the milling completed, the piggy bank can be assembled. Dowel pins align the two halves, the windows glued in place with clear silicone caulk, and a couple of brass screws added to hold the two halves together. The DXF drawings needed to program this piggy bank can be downloaded from woodcademy.com. There's a link in the description of this video. Add some cash to get the young saver started, and you've got a terrific gift. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help.